good day to all to compare the emf of two given primary cells using potentiometer apparatus required potentiometer a battery eliminator one way key jockey rheostat leclangi cell daniel cell dptt switch double pole double throw that is dptt switch galvanometer and ammeter the connecting wires potentiometer is a device used to compare the emf of two cells to measure the internal resistance of a cell and potential difference across the resistor it consists of a long wire of uniform cross section area and of 10 meter in length theory the principle the principle of a potentiometer is that the potential dropped across a segment of a wire of uniform cross section carrying a constant current is directly proportional to its length the potentiometer is a simple device used to measure electrical potentials or compare the emf of a cell the comparing emf of a cell formula e1 by e2 which is equals to l1 by l2 where e1 and e2 are the emf of two given cells and l1 and l2 are the corresponding balancing lengths on potentiometer wire circuit diagram q is the two ends of the potentiometer wire which is connected the 10 meter length wire and p we have taken one end from that to battery eliminator positive we have to connect from battery eliminator negative to one end of the one way key other end of the one way key to the ammeter negative positive of the ammeter to the rheostat lower end from upper end of the rheostat to other end of the potentiometer so this is the primary circuit the secondary circuit which consists and started with again p that the connection which goes to the eliminator battery the same way we have to start and connect to the comparing cell what are the cells we have taken for comparing the two cells positive to connect and the negative should connect to the commutator or we can take it here instead of commutator dptt switch then from dptt switch to galvanometer and galvanometer to resistance box or higher resistance then from that to jockey let us see the connections let us see the primary circuit in potentiometer we have two ends we have taken this p and this end as q from p to the battery positive with the help of the salt paper you have to clean the ends of the connecting wires and from negative to the one way key one end of the one way key then other end of the one way key from that to lower end of the rheostat
from the upper end of the rheostat to Q, potentiometer, other end. This we can call it as a primary circuit. Let us see secondary circuit now. From potentiometer end P to the DPDD switch positive terminal. That means we have already connected from the P to positive of battery. From the same connection we have to take the connection and connect it to the positive terminal of the DPDT switch. For the same for you have to take the negative to the galvanometer positive from the galvanometer negative to jockey you have to connect the jockey here now you have to connect the comparing cell to the dpdt switch positive to positive terminal negative to negative terminal of leg langi same like we have two more keys to the, from this key to the daniel cell we are going to connect positive of dpdt to positive of the leg langi cell the same way negative to the negative of leg langi cell the one more positive negative is there from that to daniel cell Yes, let us perform the experiment. Switch it on the battery, insert one way plug key and also switch it on the DPDT switch. You have to check for both the cells. So now we kept on leg langi. Now you have to press the jockey on the potentiometer. You will get the deflection both the side if you kept both ends on P and as well as on Q. If the galvanometer shows both side the direction then the connection is correct. Now we are going to note the length L1 of the wire for the cell E1. We have taken here the E1 as Langi cell. So now we can press the DPDD switch on the side of Langi cell. Notice the potentiometer, it shows both the direction. Now from 0 you have to start it. This one wire it contains from 0 to 100 centimeter. So total 10 centimeter we said. So this wire as shows 0 to 100 from 101 to 200 so 201 to 300 300 now 400 500 600 so this is 700 800 so see that the both direction it shows and which is there in between that 600 to 700 line the deflection which is there so for the L1 Leg Langi first uh, reading we got it for 603. You may notice that with the help of scale, you may see the reading for 603. 0. Now without changing any 
uh, changes on the rheostat we have to change the position for the daniel cell now we'll notice we have to take it from 0 to 100 101 to 200 201 to 300 301 to 400 it came and from 401 it is getting deflected opposite direction 401 to 500 in that range it is there yes so nearly now null deflection that is 440 so this is the fourth line it came on 40 on the scale you may notice that on the scale 40 for the balancing length L2 for the Daniel cell 442 for that null deflection we got it in the same way repeat the observation alternately for each cell again for the same value of current and increase the current by adjusting the rheostat and obtain at least three to four set of observations in a similar way now we'll record all the observation in the tabulation see the tabular column balancing length l1 into 10 power minus 2 meter balancing length l2 into 10 power minus 2 meter comparing the emf that we know that formula e1 by e2 which is equal to l1 by l2 see the values which we have fetch uh, 573 i got 420 and 610 448 like that the different values we have taken for your convenient i have showed one calculation In that way you have to calculate e1 by e2 which is equal to l1 by l2 the formula you know that uh, l1 which is equal to 610 l2 which is equal to 448 so when you uh, compare this you will get 1.36 there is no unit because we are comparing the cells so we got the various values for the comparing of emf that is like 1.36 1.36 1.37 and 1.34 we take the average we got uh, net result of the ratio of emf result the ratio of emfs e1 by e2 which is equal to 1.34 by comparing the leglangi cell and the daniel the Leglangi cell value that is 1.5 by 1.08 that is equal to 1.3. Comparatively the same value we got it.